Welcome to Ease Us. Today, I'm going to show you how to clone iMac hard drive to a new SSD. Whether you're planning to upgrade to a new, larger SSD for your iMac or preparing for another Mac device, this video will guide you through making a full copy of macOS along with data to your new SSD. Now, subscribe and let's get started. So the first thing to do is to connect your new SSD to your iMac using a proper cable. Then we can start our disk cloning journey. Here I will offer you two methods, macOS built-in disk utility and third-party tool EZUS Partition Master for Mac. Disk utility may be a bit complicated for beginners, while the latter can save you a lot of time and effort. You can choose either of them depending on your own situation. The first method is disk utility. Start by pressing Command and Space and searching for Disk Utility. Open it up. As you can see, underneath external is my new SSD and I have renamed it so it won't be confused with the old disk. I suggest you do the same. Next, let's check the format of the old disk, which I see here is APFS. Then, select the new SSD and click Erase here. You can rename it and choose APFS for the format, same as the old disk or you can choose the highly compatible Mac OS Extended, Journaled, which will also do the trick. Now click Erase to start the process. Once it's done, your next step is to restart your iMac. When it's rebooting, you should press Command-R to enter Mac OS Utilities menu. This would take longer than usual to load, but don't worry. Wait a moment and you should then enter Recovery Mode. Here we select Disk Utility. Then, select your new SSD here and click on Restore, and this is where you choose the target volume. This one is mine, and it includes the Mac OS and data I need. Now click the Restore button to begin. This will take a while, so I'm just going to speed up the video here. When it's finished, click Done, and select the new SSD again. Let's rename it to avoid confusion. Now, you can verify if your iMac can boot from the new SSD. Click on the Apple icon in the upper left corner, then select Startup Disk. Choose the cloned SSD here and then hit Restart. Wait for it, and then you can see we are running this iMac from the new SSD we just cloned. Everything looks fine. Then you can shut down the iMac and plug off your SSD, cause right now, your Mac is running from that SSD. Now you got a full copy of Mac OS and data. The second method is Ease Us Partition Master for Mac which is much easier, especially for users who are not familiar with macOS. You can download it from the description under this video. Now, to clone your iMac hard drive, let's open this tool first. As you can see, this one is my new SSD, and this one is the old disk. Select the old disk, and then click the Clone button. And here, you can see a notice that says that this cannot clone the volumes that created by yourself, just like Disk Utility. This is something you may want to pay attention to, assuming I don't need that part of data, so I'm just going to proceed. Now we select the new SSD as the destination and hit Start to begin. What I like about this tool is that it doesn't require you to erase the disk before the cloning because it'll automatically handle it during the process. Now we just need to wait for it till the job's done. Still, let's speed up the video. Once it's done, you can go to Disk Utility to check its status. Your iMac hard drive is successfully cloned to the new SSD as expected. Rename it to distinguish them. Then you can shut down your Mac and eject the SSD for further use. Ease Us Partition Master for Mac also offers features like removing BitLocker encryption, read and write NTFS drive, download Mac OS installer, and so on. All of them can help you manage disks and volumes with a convenient experience. Now let's compare the two options to see which one is better for you. As mentioned before, Ease Us Partition Master for Mac is much easier than Disk Utility. And according to my records, the disk cloning speed of the Ease Us tool is slightly faster than Disk Utility. However, the tool only supports Mac OS 10.15 and above, so if you are using an older device, Disk Utility would be a better option. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.